Hello, all coochie Ollie squads. We are back. We are here. We are still here. How are we all doing? I do care this time. So, English K pop's a thing. Why is it a thing? We're gonna go through the reasons why I fucking hate it and so should you. So, so far the majority of English speaking K-pop groups come from the UK, with the exception of EXP Edition, a four member boy band coming from America. The other two we're going to discuss are Kachi and Ollie London. I'd also like to formally apologise about any background noise. For some reason the whole street suddenly wants to do hardware. Minor disclaimer though before we start, please do not send any hate to any of the artists who are going to go through. So of course when things come to K-pop we usually have a good idea of what K-pop means. It usually means a group of people, maybe not a group, maybe it's a solo artist, maybe it's a duo, maybe it's a trio. Maybe it's mixed gender, maybe it's all one gender. It normally consists of singers, dancers, rappers, visuals. And what language do they speak in? What does the fucking K stand for? Okay, so the first group we're going to be talking about is EXP Edition. Now, the actual EXP and EXP Edition stands for Experiment. Then performed by a Korean producer known as Bora Kim. And she actually did want to do this as an experiment and wanted to see what it was like to push the boundaries of K-pop. Obviously, it hasn't gone very well. <laughs> Don't get me fucking started. To begin with, I remember this group debuting and I remember seeing their music video. Not because I like them, I don't like them. I did see a lot of hate on their socials, on their videos, and a lot of just people just not liking it, which I see why. <laughs> they did not go through the K pop idol process which is what a lot of idols or all idols have to go through to become a K-pop idol. They have to train days and days on end and you can tell that effort's been put in beforehand by how polished they look. In my opinion, they are the least problematic in comparison to perhaps uh, Ollie London and Kachi. They have not had any controversies for as far as I am concerned. Okay, next we have Kachi which are a four-member girl group. I recently did a video on Check It Out or Your Mum's a Sket. Similar to EXP Edition, Kachi did not go through the idol process. Also similarly to EXP Edition, the group was started by a Korean producer known as Monica Sound and she scouted them from a dance competition in London. Why? Why did you have that idea? You knew that it's going to get backlash. Why? I guess she kind of tried to balance it out by scouting a Korean member. I think what angered K-pop fans the most with these um, groups are the fact that they did not go through this process. As I was saying earlier, they just simply thought, oh yeah, we're going to get instant fame by becoming quite half-arsed. They're not going to be successful, that's simple as. They're not polished and you can't call yourself K-pop if you can't even sing properly in Korean. Some people go to the extent of saying, well, you're not Korean, it's not K-pop, which to an extent is fucking true. I do kind of understand why these Korean producers are trying to do this, trying to create a English group, but it's not working and they really should have just stopped EXP edition. Mm, darling, a big hit to ask what the fuck is going on. Now, as stated before, both Kachi and EXP edition were scouted by some sort of producer. The XP edition went through an audition process and Kachi were scouted from a UK dance competition. Um... I guess, in a way, this somewhat reduces the blame onto both the groups for their idea of being a K-pop group because originally it was not their idea, it was some producer's idea and then they scouted them and created this group. They created EXP, they created Kachi. However, the fact that they fucking agreed to it. <laughs> to be honest, as much as I don't really like EXP edition, I don't like their songs. I am not a big fan of the group. Um, I can't really badmouth them. In my opinion, these groups use the K-pop genre for clout, if I'm totally honest, and a lot of people think that too, I'm not the only one who thinks it. These are rumours, they're rumours that uh, one of the members of Kaji said something problematic about Jenny, to her that she's being lazy. There's also been the speculation that they've been copying concepts from music videos, including dance moves, special effects 
it's moving the groups to one side. We have discussed enough about them. We're obviously ignoring the elephant in the room when it comes to English speaking K-pop, which is Oliver London. No! Everyone knows about Ollie. Everyone's known about him since about 2017, 2018. No! No! Ollie London is a dude from England. He's 30. He also did not go through the K-pop process. Do you see a pattern emerging? He also has his own label called Ollie London Entertainment. He's the only one under his label as far as I am concerned. So Ollie's really only known for his plastic surgery. He should look like Jimin from BTS. We all know that. The first time I heard about him was in a, a Barcraft documentary where it like explores his plastic surgery and his transformation to become Park Jimin, which he will never become Park Jimin. He does not look like Park Jimin. Please stop trying to look like Park Jimin. What I really don't like about Ollie is how he uses Jimin for fame. He might very well like BTS. A lot of people like BTS. That's fair enough. You can like BTS. That's not a problem. It becomes a problem when you are obsessing over them to the extent that you want to look like them. And he kind of glorifies the shows that he's been on, such as Dr. Phil, Botched. I remember he was posting things over and over and over again about Botched. I'm thinking Botched isn't something you should be glorifying over. It's not a good show to be on because your surgery's fucked and you're there for a reason. What makes him different to Expedition and Kachi is the fact that he was not scouted, he started on his own, he only became well known for his plastic surgery, which then led to him producing some interesting songs. Anyway, we have our contestants of the Karibu clan. Right, so I thought it'd be fun to watch some of their videos. Uh, again, I won't be watching the Kachi video in this one because I've already seen it. Cover your ears if you don't want them to bleed. <laughs> Yes, I have a burrito blanket. Envy me. Y'all just jealous I be looking like a McDonald's snap wrap and y'all be looking like a fucking McDonald's salad. Right, so first we are reacting to EXP edition I Feel Like This. Actually no, I'm reacting to stress, but you can all watch Feel Like This in your spare time. Make it your homework. <laughs> I mean, oh. okay, so in comparison to say Kachi, don't cancel me. <laughs> I would consider this more K pop because there's actual Korean lyrics. I don't know much Korean but I feel like they're actually having more of a go at trying to sing in Korea. You have to sing in Korean. You can't just flee your kid with a couple of yobaseos and a few bogo shibdas. Their dancing is mediocre. Uh, vocally wise, uh, it's a bit shaky. This dude, he sounds pretty good. I feel like he's a lead vocalist. Still not a fan of the group, don't cancel me. <laughs> They seem to like doing stuff with their jacket. <laughs> I can do it too. I can be in a K-pop group too. I mean, I'll give it to them, they're on show champion. That's pretty impressive. It's better in comparison to a lot of other K-pop wannabes. EXP really haven't released any new content. Um, well, I don't think they've released a song since Dress and that was 2018. They might be just doing a Blackpink where they come back soon. Please come back Blackpink. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to move on to Oliver London, our favourite dude, our favourite guy. Right, so for Ollie's, we are going to watch the music video version of Mirror Mirror, the comeback stage version of Mirror Mirror, treating you all on I and his heart of Korea. Ollie, yes. I am not Ollie London. Ollie London. Is that Coco from Kachi? I swear that's Coco from Kachi. Do they really though? Oh, also, Domestos bleach is one pounds from Asda. Might buy it so I can down the whole fucking bottle. Tell me what you see when you look at me. 
I'm honestly not going to answer that. Now we're going to see what it's like live. Um, I've always wanted to see Ollie London live. I was very upset when I couldn't go to a show in London. It really upset me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's enough. Honestly, imagine not knowing when to start your own song, despite half it just being your name. You can't do that. You can't just tell them to turn it up. Because you can't sing in Korea, or you can't sing full star. Finally, just for the icing on the cake, we have Ollie London's Heart of Korea. Ollie London. Okay, I've had enough here, and I've had enough of giving these people watch time. So, to conclude, Anyone who's thinking about bringing together an English-speaking Korean pop group slash idol, please do not, or I will go back in time and have to hand your parents a condom to avoid you ever being born. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed once again. I did not. So like and subscribe. Let's get to 50 likes, maybe. I'll see you soon. Hopefully we won't have to make another one of these videos again because I hate watching these videos. Bye, guys. Just another quick shout out to all these lovely people who are supporting me on Twitter. I love you all. You're so amazing. You're so nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Stay tuned for the next video.